Hello, I'm David Guthrie, and I want to welcome you to our prayer time ministry. It's good to have you join us this morning, and we ask that you pray to God this morning about what's on your heart and your mind. And we want to pray for the ones that we've reached out to and contacted and told them that we would pray for them and their walk with Jesus and for him to bless them with care and protection. I'd also like to pray for Georgiana Duall and Philip Ramsey and Cindy South and Cindy Smith, who's been put in the hospital with a colon infection. I'd also like to pray with Ken Thomason, and he has prayer for his grandchildren's salvation, and their, age, their ages range from 1 to 11. I'd like to pray for Kitty Kershey and Kurt Rainey, and he has prayer for his revival coming up in March, and he also has prayer about our church land and facility that we're preparing to embark on and and uh, obtain for his word lives ministry. I'd like to pray for Jeannie Garrett, and she has prayer for everyone that needs God's help. That's all of us. I'd like to pray for Lizette Colos, and she has prayer for herself and her family's salvation. I'd also like to pray for Carolyn Gijalza, and I'd like to pray for Ernestine Owens. And th she thanks God for the many blessings, and she prays for her family. Now you lift up your prayers to God as we go to him in prayer. Dear God, we come to you in prayer. We thank you for another beautiful day for us to participate in your creation. God, we thank you for making it possible for us to have salvation through belief and faith in your Son, Jesus Christ. God, we pray if there's anyone watching this video that is not saved, they'd get down on their knees and ask you to forgive them for their sins and, and profess you as the Son of God, Jesus. Yes, the Lord of Lord and King of Kings, we praise you with these prayers. We lift up things in belief and faith to you. Each and every one of these prayers that's mentioned, each and every one of the prayers that's being lifted up to you this very moment in this video. And God, we pray to you and thank you for all that you've done for us. In the name of Jesus, we pray, amen. Amen. Thank you for being with us today here on His Word Lives Ministry. And thank you for praying with us in our prayer time. We want to read some scripture now from the book of Matthew in chapter 4. And we're going to read verses 12 through 17. And this is about when Jesus is starting his ministry and how he's relocating to get into a place where not only there's Jews, but there's Gentiles. Because see, salvation is for all people. And Jesus preached this in his ministry to all people. Now, when Jesus had heard that John was cast into prison, he departed into Galilee. And leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is upon the seacoast in the borders of Zabulon and Naphtali, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, the land of Zebulon and the land of Naphtali, by the way of the sea, beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people which sat in darkness saw great light. And to them which sat in the region and shadow of death, light is sprung up. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Jesus is preaching, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. This is a true saying today. If you don't know Jesus, you can call upon him and repent or turn from following yourself and, and your flesh and things of the world and follow Jesus in your life. 
and let him guide you and lead you by God the Holy Spirit that comes inside of the believer. See, Jesus started a ministry where darkness is brought in, where light is brought into darkness, where there is a great light that is sprung up even in the shadow of death, the shadow of not knowing God. That's death. But you can have life. You can have light. You can have the kingdom of heaven in your life. If you'll come forward and believe in Jesus and have faith in him as the son of God. Thank you for joining us today and have a blessed day, a wonderful day. In the name of Jesus, thank you.